Hi, good morning. I hope you slept well. I hope you can have a great day. Today I want to teach you one simple breath. We call it a cleansing breath because this supplies oxygen to trillions of cells in the human body. There are many ways to breathe. This is not something I've invented. This is something that exists naturally in all of our lives. And if we can learn how to breathe the right way, everything gets better. Our physical health, mental health, spiritual health, emotional health, intellectual health, because trillions of cells in the human body that you are made up of requires oxygen. So imagine if you can give oxygen to those trillion cells by just controlling the way you breathe. The same way you grow a muscle, you keep exercising it. You're trying to grow your bicep, you take a dumbbell and you keep exercising it. The same way you exercise your lungs. What's the exercise for your lungs? Deep breathing. Well, do you know a lot of people chase detox plans, liver and kidney and all of that stuff. The way you breathe is a natural detoxification that happens for all of ourselves because the more oxygen we get in, the carbon dioxide we take out, the, respira the, the respiratory system is in a way a detoxification system. I'm gonna teach you a simple way. Now you can practice it right now. I would prefer if you listen now, learn it, and then during the day, every hour, every two hours, one cleansing breath and then get back. The more you practice this, you train your lungs to do it without reminders. A strong lung will take in a lot of oxygen in the inhale and it will allow a lot of carbon dioxide in the exhale. Remember, what we wanna to try to achieve with our breathing exercises, no matter what we do, are long inhales, but even longer exhales. This is especially when we're trying to calm down, when we're moving from the sympathetic nervous system, that stress, fight and flight, to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. So it's really simple. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on the floor in Vajrasana position, you can sit on your chair with your back straight. You wanna to try to keep your spine erect, while you do this exercise. Now, let me remind you the right way to breathe. When you inhale, think of your stomach as, think of your belly area as a balloon. What happens when you put air in a balloon? It inflates. So your balloon is the stomach. Okay, as you inhale, first your stomach, your belly will rise. Then this part, the diaphragm, then the chest. And if you've got that really good deep inhale going, you'll find even your shoulders rise up. So I'm gonna show you a quick example of when I take a breath, okay? The same way when I deflate, what happens when you push out air from a balloon? It deflates. So as I exhale, my shoulders, my chest, that will go down first and last my belly. Now what we're doing in this one cleansing breath, breath today is very simple. I'm gonna inhale really, really slowly. It's not a competition. Okay, it's, it's not a competition. It is you, it's about you. It's about no one else, it's about you. All right, as you inhale, your tummy slowly rises. Maybe today you just get your belly to fill. Maybe tomorrow, your diaphragm will start pushing up and then your chest will rise and then your shoulders will rise until you can't take in any more oxygen. And then you don't need to hold, you can exhale slowly through your nose and again, everything will deflate. Now, as you exhale and you feel there's no more air that can come out, I want you to squeeze, gently squeeze your navel towards your spine. So that pushes out more air and it'll really push out air and then you realize that you're not pushing out air with your own lung strength. So what we're gonna do, this cleansing breath over time will make your inhale and your exhale stronger. Now when you do even three of these, what I can guarantee you is energy, okay, clarity. You may feel a little bit dizzy because oxygen's hitting your brain. These are normal things and as you practice it, your morning should start off with six deep cleansing breaths. Before you sleep, six or three or two, whatever. Six is what we wanna arrive at. Three is great, one is a good start. In between your day, you get caught up in your day, just pause, it takes you less than a minute to do two or three of these deep breaths. Cleansed, clarity, mental focus, energy, get back to your day. And the more you do this, the more you train your lungs to automatically do this. So we're gonna do this together now thrice, okay? At your own pace, like I said, if you can't fill up, it's an indicator that your lungs need to get stronger and stronger. And as you start breathing, your chest, right, your belly, your chest, maybe even your shoulders, you wanna see your traps move up a little bit, don't push it. And then slowly through your nostrils, exhale again. Okay, we're gonna do it in three counts all together. One, two, three, deep inhale. And exhale.
squeeze the navel to your spine and see how much more carbon dioxide comes out. Do the next two counts on your own while I go over the rules. Deep inhale. Your inhale needs to be sl slow. Don't let it waver. Stop it if you have to. Slow inhale. And the exhale, you want to see that it is longer than the inhale. Don't forget to squeeze the navel towards your spine so that you empty out completely and then you're ready for a whole load of new oxygen in your next inhale. Let's do the third count. Inhale, deep inhale, let your belly rise. Diaphragm pushes your chest up. Shoulders, a light rise, don't push it at your own pace. And then through your nostrils, exhale really slow. Your exhale should be longer than your inhale. That is what moves you from stress to de-stress. You know, you ever want to move from deep, from stress to de-stress in a second? Control your breath. Make your inhales long and your exhales longer. And that's how it works for you. So now you can do three on your own count at your own pace. Make this a habit the same way you wake up, brush your teeth. Make this into a lifestyle. During the day, remind yourself, put up. You, you, you get notifications on your phone to check Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and stuff. Put a reminder to breathe. You'll, you'll probably have it on your watch or your phone. There are loads of apps. A reminder to take these one or two or these three deep cleansing breaths. You're worried. You're stressed about something. Fine. Whatever the problem is, breathe. Breathe. It's not going to take away your problem, but it's going to keep you in the parasympathetic nervous system, which gives you mental clarity to face your problem. The moment more anxiety comes in, you're now reacting to an emotion and you cannot think clearly to solve your problem. So the anxiety is a signal that something's wrong. That's it. It's a signal. It's not your life. Now from that signal, you got to take action. To take that action, you got to be stable, cleansing breath. That's how it works. Practice this every morning. If you have a problem sleeping at night, this works beautifully at night as well. You know, calm down, put your gadgets off one hour before bed. Okay, read your books, do your meditation, your pranayamas, and then three to six deep cleansing breaths and lay down. Lay down. It may not work the first day if you're insomniac, the second, the third, but keep doing it and eventually you're going to get into a deeper sleep. Remember, sleep is important. Deep sleep is medicine. Have a great day, everyone.